All right. We got the printer printing our cover for our Coop Commander, which is this thing. So we look at this. There's gonna be changes made to the door itself. I've been mocking it up and uh, I almost got it how I want it. And we got this guy we're gonna mount. Then it has a clear cover and uh, 3D printed the standoffs that go in behind it that hold it off of the wood. And hopefully we're gonna have a moving chicken door today. How you girls doing? Hi there. Is it too windy for you? Hi. You guys are playing? We're doing all right. There's Otto. He loves hanging out with me. Or she. They're all hands. Hi there. Run around a little bit. They really like it when I'm over here. I've realized they've kind of gotten attached to me. I mean, we've been living inside the trailer for six weeks. And uh, I got this uh, stronger barrier to go up to keep any like predators out over the chicken wire. So just kind of doubling it up. I did it all around the bottom already. So. Hey. Oh, look at them running around. I love it. I love it. Get excited. And then we got feed going in here. And it's a four, four inch pipe goes down. Um, it'll be shaded in the evening. It'll only be lit up for a little bit and it's white and I'm, I might even put a barrier just over the outside of it. And this is where the water fills up at. But I'm letting it air out really good before, and I keep flushing it. Yeah, laying box, laying box. A third one just in case, but I'm gonna put the food and water uh, fill up in there. That way you can fill it up without even going in the coop if you don't, if you want to. So you don't gotta open the door and disturb them. There's a lot of hawks, ravens, eagles, coyotes, everything. So they gotta, you gotta live like Fort Knox up in here uh, for these girls. And that's, a, that's the best way for them to keep them safe. Well, it is raining like crazy outside, but we got the uh, cover. We've got, we've got the door now trimmed out so it'll sit more flush. And it's got a big window, which I wanted for more light. Well, it's later that day. It goes up. And we got the box, the Coop Commander. And, uh, that goes up and down. Right on the tracks. Okay, we're gonna just try this. I'm gonna plug in the battery. I'm gonna have to unplug it when it gets to the top, but that's all. Then I got up this morning and I realized I don't need all this fancy hardware. And it, uh, 221 grams for the roller bar. And then I was drawing up some new brackets to make it just slide on it with plastic sliders up and down those rods. And I realized I don't want to do that either. I'm going to just put this in between two uh, pieces of wood with a clearance and just have it slide in between them. And I think it'll be better for, uh, you know, keeping the draft down around the sides of each side of the door. So I'm just gonna go get a piece of plexiglass or something 
and some uh, just w a block of wood from somewhere to whatever I can get to finish it and uh, get this going. Okay, we're here inside the chicken door house. Chicken door. And uh, the door got considerably uh, simpler. It just slides in between the, uh, the posts like that. And it weighs about a half a pound less, so even easier on the uh, whole deal. So we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna plug it in, made some changes to the Arduino code. Goes up, and it's got it's got some sliders to help make it go up better. But it fires up, and we should see it go up. Thank you. 